This is a short video on how I developed a method to remove bubbles from my slide preparation. You know, I, I suppose we've all been through it. We have prepared our fantastic hole mount insect. In this case, I have over here, looks like a insect, flying insect called a blind mosquito. I don't know why it's called a blind mosquito in Florida. Uh, it has compound eyes, but whatever. But as you notice, uh, unfortunately, uh, it was a halfway decent slide, but we have ourselves a very ugly bubble, one, two bubbles. And um, somebody that I know, and Ms. Levinson, uh, told me she's into arts and crafts with resins. And since per mount or most of these uh, uh, slide preparation mounting mediums would be maybe some kind of a resin, unless it's Canada balsam. Next, I suppose you could call that a resin as well. Um, uh, she had experience with uh, bubbles and she learned in her class that uh, if you heat up the slide, you eliminate the bubbles. Um, now, of course, my concern was heating up the slide and not destroying the specimen. So uh, what I decided to do was um, give you a short demo on how I do it, and it's so far been extremely successful. And what I use to heat up the slide will be a um, soldering iron. And uh, I mean, don't laugh, but the soldering iron actually works because it deposits a, an amount of heat right on the point. You know, I've heard of using hair dryers. A hair dryer heats everything up. I'm not so sure that's a great idea, but first things first. So of course, let's take this as a representative slide. And I'm going to increase the magnification to about six, and I'm going to put it down right there. I have it on a white background because I think it might show up more clearly. So the first thing that we have to do, if you notice over here where the bubble is, you see the um, resin squeezed out here as I applied a weight on it. Because one of my previous videos, uh, one of the techniques I learned, developed actually, to keep the slides thin so you don't have a flat end and a high end was to put a weight on it and but when you remove the weight later on if the resin isn't completely dry uh, it starts sucking air bubbles back underneath and uh, I to be honest with you I have had a terrible time making slides without bubbles my success rate in having a slide without a bubble is less than 10% you know I mean maybe even 5% so most of my slides have bubbles in it. So I'm, this one I'm going to deal with bubbles that usually end up on the side. Or uh, if uh, we have time in this video, I'll show you an, another mosquito slide that I did where we have an otherwise good slide, but uh, you notice there's a bubble in the middle. How on earth do you get out that bubble out? Well, th this is not an exact science and a little bit of art is required. So the first thing that we have to do is, since we're not sure if this bubble has a, uh, you can hear, you can hear the uh, tip of the needle going over the cover slip onto the cover slip side itself. Uh, if you find a 30 gauge or even a 34 gauge, but a 30 gauge syringe needle with a bevel, I have 34 gauge needles that don't have a bevel. So really, the it, 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 for this purpose, a 34 gauge won't work. So we have to use a 30 gauge, at least a 31 gauge with a bevel on the end, okay? Uh, you wanna see if there's some um, space in there. And there usually isn't because it dries up and closes it off. There, a piece of resin came off right there. So we're gonna take a very sharp razor blade let me just back off the magnification a little bit. No, let me go back again. Okay, there. Um, and what we are going to do very carefully, and this has to be careful because we don't want to break the cover slip since it's so fragile. Okay, we are going to scrape off the resin. It's outside. Now you see there's always a chance you'll break the slide and uh, ruin it. If you think that you have a slide that is so important to you that you can't take that chance, I would recommend just putting up with a bubble. But for me, I find bubbles to be 
I'm professional, you know, when I look at prepared slides and I see that these prepared slides are beautifully done without bubbles, I'm always asking myself, how on earth did they do it? You know, and um, uh, some people tell you, nobody's ever come up with this. They got all kinds of techniques for laying the, um, laying the uh, cover slip down. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So there we go. So. I have probably, let me see if I've done this now. Yeah, there you go. I can get the needle underneath now, but you have to be very careful because you can break that cover slip before you even know it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lay a bead of um, mounting medium along here on the outside. You don't always have to do this, but I like to do it because I've gone back and found that the bubble, uh, if I don't do this, sometimes the bubble disappears and then sometimes it doesn't. So now I'm going to reduce the magnification and I'm going to take my soldering gun here and uh, here we go. Let me see if I can't increase that magnification again. Uh, let me go. Uh, let me see if that works. I apologize. I'm a one man operation. Oh, look, it's filling up on its own. Uh, it proved me wrong. Ah, well, this is good. Now we have a bubble that's inside. How do we get that bubble out? Okay, I'm gonna turn some heat on. Make sure that the tip, the soldering tip, is between the bubble and the edge of the slide because you want to melt or re-liquefy the, um, you wanna re-liquefy it. Now look at that, that bubble is moving on its own, right? There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Now you don't wanna boil, you do not wanna boil it. See how bubbles are showing up over here? You don't want that to happen underneath. So let's do that again. Let's try that again. So once I've done that, we'll take that away because this slide is still hot. Now this is a tricky part. I take my fingertip and I will push the bubble out like that. Okay. And I will take a syringe needle tip and pop that bottle bubble because it will invariably get sucked back in again underneath the slide. Now here's another one over here. I may not have applied enough heat to that part of the slide, so it may not be, oh no, it looks like it's moving it. Again, some pressure, but not too much pressure, because as always, there's a chance that you will break the cover slip. And we don't want to do that. I just almost dropped my camera. <laughs> okay, uh, not a very professional outfit here, but uh, so we get rid of that bubble. Come on, bubble. When you don't want, when you want the bubble to pop, it won't. Of course, it won't. So um, I think what I'll do is I'll take a Q-tip and move it out of the way. They have to be, there you go. Oh, I see, I created another one. I hate bubbles. It's, I got this thing. It, to me, it just ruins the professional part of the slide. So there you have it. And then as the resin starts to cool down, of course, it's going to suck some of the resin back under. That's why I put a little bead of it along here so that when it needs some to fill up the space as it's drawing it back again, um, you have some resin for it to dry. I mean, I've done it right now. I've rescued about a hundred of my previous slides that I thought were ruined and they all worked uh, very well. I, it's not a hundred percent, but it is, it's over 99%. So I'll take those odds rather than having what I consider a, a less than professional looking slide. So after this, after this has dried, what I will do, now that bubble there is, um, that bubble there, you see that bubble right there? We want to get rid of that. There'd be bubbles are the bane of my life, I could be honest with you. There you go. Uh, so let's leave it at that. Now, the next video that I'm going to show, because I don't want to run over 10 minutes, because uh, I think there's a limit on how long a video can be for my YouTube downloads. I've been having a lot of problem with um, videos that are over 10 minutes. That's why I limit my videos to 10 minutes or less. So let's be done with that video. Let's go to the next video.